Now look at this. I want to do this. I don't want to do a whole bunch of foiling. There's a, something called binomial theorem. And you just got to watch it and after I'm done it'll make it'll kind of work out neatly. You start with the power. That's a fifth power. So you start with 5c0, then you do 5c1, and it has to be vertical like this, you'll see why. So, we're working our way down starting with 5c0. Next, we take this term right here. And we take the x squared. This is called binomial theorem. And you put the x squared straight down. And you start, since that's the fifth power, you start with the fifth power. Then you work your way down. Start from the fifth power down to the zero power. And then the last one is going to be a negative 4y. Got to do negative 4y all the way down. And you start with 0 and work your way down to 5. This is actually somewhat organized and easier to keep from making mistakes than to foil a whole bunch. Again, this is the power. You go by combinations from 0 to 5. If that was a 4, you go 4c all the way to 4. Anywho, that's your first piece. You take your first piece, start with the fifth power, work down to the zero power. The second piece, you start with the zero power, work to the fifth power. What's 5 plus 0? 5. 4 plus 1? 5. 3 plus 2? These powers should always add up. Got it? You should always add up to that power. Okay. All that. What's 5C0? Do you want to sit here and do all these combinations? No. no. Isn't it quicker to just look at this chart right here? No. Isn't that 5C0? One. Okay. What's 5C1? Isn't it that right there? 5C2, wouldn't that be 5C2? Do you see how quickly this chart helps? 5C3 would be 10. 5C4 would be 5. And 5C5 is 1. Do you see how the chart comes very useful? All of a sudden, this right here are all those numbers. Way easier than sitting there and doing each combination one by one. Next, what's x squared to the fifth? Meaning x squared times x squared times x squared times x squared times x squared. That would be x to the tenth. This one, you multiply the powers. This would be x to the eighth. x to the sixth. It always just goes down. It's, there's a pattern. And anything to the zero, by the way, is one. Anything to the zero power is one. So what's this one going to be? That's one. Remember, anything to the zero is one. Anything in the first is just simply itself. Okay, what's negative 4 squared? Six. And then y squared. Negative 4 squared is 16, then y squared. What's negative 4 to the third? Negative. It's actually negative 64. And then y to the third is y to the third. Okay. Negative 4 to the 4th. What's 4 times 4 times 4 times 4? Can someone do that on their calculator? 256. And it's positive, 256. And then y to the 4th is just y to the 4th. Can someone do 4 to the 5th? What's negative 4 to the 5th? Or 4 to the 5th? 1,024. Now, these are big numbers, but why do they switch negative positive, negative positive? Because when you cube, when you do an odd power, you actually the negative comes back out. 
even powers, the negative disappears. Okay. Multiply all this. What do you get in the blue? Just x to the 10. Multiply all, look, multiply the numbers first. What do you get? Negative 20, so x to the 8th y. Okay, multiply the numbers, what do you get? 160? You see the powers? And then 64 times 10 would be negative 6, 4, 0, x to the 4th, y to the 3rd. Um, could somebody do this on the calculator? Actually, I, that's, actually, what is it? Five times this is what? 1,280. Five times 256 was that. And then multiply all this. That's easy. Okay. Now, class, can you see kind of a pattern to the X's and the Y's? Can you see that goes 10, 8, 6, 4, 2, gone. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, gone. The numbers don't really have a pattern, but could you kind of see they kind of get created here? That's your answer. Your answer is 10 to the x to the 10th minus 20x to the 8th y plus 160x to the 6th y squared minus 640 x to the fourth, y to the third, plus 1280, x squared, y to the fourth, minus 1024, y to the fifth. Now, could you have foiled that out? Yes. But could you find yourself making lots of mistakes foiling that out? Is this pretty organized? Hopefully. If you could follow the pattern, can you keep your patterns organized, then multiply straight across, Keep your answer nice and neat. Yeah.